Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. Raytheon, an RTX subsidiary, and Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace, supported by the Norwegian Ministry of Defense and Armed Forces, have successfully conducted a flight test for an upgraded variant of the MROM Extended Range, MROM ER, missile using the National Advanced Surface to Air Missile System, NIZAMS. This achievement highlights the enhanced capabilities of the modernized MROM ER. The latest iteration of the MROM ER missile features a pioneering configuration, integrating the guidance section of the AIM 120C8. Additionally, it incorporates a more resilient 10 inch rocket motor from NAMO and a 10 inch control actuator system, known as the Norwegian Propulsion Stack, provided by Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace, in collaboration with the Norwegian MOD. Paul Ferraro, President of Air and Space Defense Systems at Raytheon, remarked, incorporating this cutting-edge technology into the MROM ER ensures sustained advanced capabilities for surface launched munitions well into the future. Continuous agile software upgrades will further enhance the MROM's efficacy in staying ahead of emerging threats. The testing phase involved a test firing, during which the missile followed a predetermined flight trajectory to validate safe launch from the NAZAM system and assess missile performance. The MROM ER is specifically engineered for integration with the NAZAM's launcher to bolster air defense capabilities, enabling interception of targets at extended ranges and altitudes beyond those achievable with the standard MROM. NAZAM's, a versatile medium range air defense solution, is a collaborative effort between Raytheon and Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace, leveraging decades of expertise, industrial collaboration, and significant investments from all stakeholders. This joint initiative aims to enhance NAZAM's capabilities, ensuring its effectiveness against evolving complex threats. That's all for now. See you later.